companies, they're in bed with special interests, and they're in bed with Israel. Most of your senators, many of them, and congresspersons, are honorary citizens, members of the Knesset. They control America's wealth. President Bush was controlled. There's not a president that is the real power. The real power are those moneyed people. Barack is not in power. How dare you think that he could give you what no other president before him has been able to give you even if they desired to do it. You tell me to teach. But I have to pay a price for what I teach. You won't say that I don't love you because I'm willing to die to prove it as well as to live to prove it. <laughs> what I said today is a death sentence on myself. <laughs> but look, you know, the Bible says my father, he sits in heaven and he laughs at you. If you think, if you think that you can put that small time stuff over today on us, I'm saying to the good Jews, defend righteousness. But when I see you come out, if I say anything critical of the Jewish people's behavior, you come out and call me anti-Semitic. You call Bishop Tutu anti-Semitic. You call anyone who criticizes you anti-Semitic. You call President Jimmy Carter anti-semitic what did he do the great preacher Billy Graham was in the office of President Nixon talking about the fear of Jewish control of the media and the money And when the conversation was discovered, Mr. Graham was forced to apologize. But as a man of God, Mr. Graham, you don't need to apologize for telling the truth. You're a man that God has blessed. You've lived to old age. Die fighting for the truth. Never bow to falsehood. You know that what you and Richard Nixon were talking about was the absolute truth. And now members of the Jewish community who not really religious Jews. They just use the name to shield their dirty practices. Uh, they their days are numbered. I know that tomorrow when you write of me and what I said today, you will step up your anger and your hatred of me and those that are with me. It is written that the dragon was after the woman that was pregnant with a man-child. 
that was destined to rule the nations with a rod of iron. So the dragon spewed out of its mouth a flood after the woman. But the book of Revelation says, the accuser of our brethren, meaning the prophets, who accused them night and day before the throne is cast down. So unleash your flood. It will only carry away those who are not firmly moored, firmly settled. Come after me with all that you have. But I want to tell you today that before the week is out, God will answer what I've said today. He wants you to know that your hatred of me will bring about the death and destruction of what you think you love. He may allow you to take me into your hands. My life you can't have. But he may allow you to take me. But you will never kill me. Never! Never! So, I conclude, their hatred of the growth of Islam in America. See, fascists want you to be afraid. So they have you with a terrorist under every bed. They come to the mosques. sit around the believers and they'll bring up the subject of America and Israel and if you look like you don't like America don't like Israel they start setting you up infiltrators from the US government no Muslim has to be a terrorist if you know God your little punk stuff you got bombs in your drawers? Damn fool. There was some wind blowing in New York. Planes couldn't fly. There was some snow, unusual snow coming down. Nothing moves. Floods and mudslides on the west coast. Tornadoes, you ain't seen nothing yet. There'll be hailstones coming out the sky, Elijah Muhammad says, like blocks of ice. Killing all your livestock. Destroying your homes and killing anything that it touches. Go ahead and come after us. So you preachers and you rabbis, I am his son. Now call that blasphemy. And if you go to war with